Until now, we already imported the digital input module macro from the ePlan data portal. And now the next step is to add the symbols and macros of the remaining components to complete our circuit diagram. So we will start first with the uh, symbol of the terminal. For this, we will go to insert menu and then select symbol. In the symbol selection window, we can see here um, several symbol libraries in different categories and different standards. If we want to add a new library, we will simply uh, do a right click here and then select settings. And then from here, we can uh, set the directory of the library we want to add. For example, here we will select the IEC uh, topology sample and then click open and then click OK. And now we can find here the new added library. For our project, we will we need a sample of terminal. So we will go to the NFPA sample and we will select the two um, connection points terminal like this and then click OK. And now we have to place the sample of the terminal into the correct location. For this, we have to align uh, the terminal sample with the PLC module macro, and they will be connected uh, directly with uh, no extra effort, like this. And finally, we need to edit some settings of the uh, terminal sample. For example, in this field, we have the name. We have to put the name of the terminal strip. We will put it as XM01. And the next field is the designation, which is the number of the terminal inside the terminal strip. We will put it as one. And finally, we have the level. If, if this terminal is a multi-level terminal, we will change this number. But in this case, we will keep it as zero. And from the display tab, we can see here all the physical aspects of the terminal. And from the sample or function data, we can uh, find some information about the sample, like uh, from which library did it came and uh, the number of, of it inside the library and also uh, the variant, and the variant means the direction of the uh, sample. Like for example here, if we choose another uh, variant, you can see the direction is changing, as you can see here, and so on, And uh, but at the end we will, find, we will choose uh, variant E. And uh, from the parts tab, we can add the part number of the terminal, and then simply we'll click OK. And now we have here the sample uh, of the terminal is successfully connected to the PLC module and we are ready to go. Thank you.